Hello YouTube once again. In this video I will give you the demonstration of iOS 4.3 on the Apple iPhone 4. I previously posted two videos explaining this on the iPad showing multitasking gestures and the and the new uh, slide switch thingy options, right? So in this video I will show you all the new stuff on the Apple iPhone 4. Uh, so, okay, so let's start. Right, so mainly all the new stuff are in the settings app. But I, I've noted a few stuff in the game center and app store apps, but let's first start by opening up settings. As you can now see, location services has its own little icon thing on the settings app. <clears throat> you can open it up and select the apps. I have a lot of apps, it takes a while. Select the apps you want to enable location services on. Right, and pretty much besides that, you have n n not much changes. If you have the tethering option from AT and T enabled, you would see our wireless hotspot here. And if you go to general network, sorry, network there, and you can see instead of uh, tethering, if you don't have personal hotspot enabled, it would ask you to set up personal hotspot. Right. That's settings. There's not much of a difference in settings. Now a few more stuff in Game Center. Let's open up Game Center, right? Go to first off. Wait. Here, it has a little thing on top of your name that says I am dot 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 and then your name, right? Oh, oh yeah. YouTube, feel free to send me a Game Center request. Also, in here. Uh, your your friends now have little post little apostrophes yeah quote over their name and games not much of a difference here <clears throat> and you can still have the games here and requests again I haven't had any requests so I'm not too sure if there's any difference there and uh, yeah that's game center <clears throat> the app store right now. Uh, there's a new, there's a change to the updates. So whenever you have an update, it looks like this now, which I personally don't like that much. On the iPad, it looks cooler, but <coughs> on the App Store, there's a lot of bugs. Though, whenever you have the no updates, um, it will come out as a zero, and the thing will come out with a little bar on top. So, so yeah, that's App Store. That's pretty much all that has changed in the App Store iTunes is not much in notes though. I noticed that the default the, the the default font has changed. I don't know if they added it or if they changed it, but yeah. Let's see what else? What else can I think of? YouTube. I know a lot of people have noticed this, but whenever you go to subscriptions and you, let's see, you have a bunch of subscriptions now. Let's put up Shane Dawson TV2. Instead of putting the newest videos and sorting them from newest to oldest, it actually sorts them by the videos that have the most views. So as you can see here, the one on the top has more views than the one at the bottom. I'm not sure if that's a bug or a mistake. Probably like another feature they added. Besides that, that's all I have noticed that has changed on YouTube. Pretty much, besides that, there's not much of a change. I haven't noted anything else. Oh, and also when people call you, the thing looks different. Besides that, there's not much of a change. Everything else is the same. Although, I have noted a few bugs with apps, especially Facebook. Facebook sometimes doesn't display all your friends, or or whenever you want to see someone else, it'll show you all their information. But that's normal. This is beta 1. And besides, for it being beta 1, it's very, very, very smooth. All the apps run smoothly. Everything is it's as if it was like a gold master seed. Everything works very well, except for those few uh, bugs, which Apple probably will correct in the next few betas. So yeah, that is um, iOS 4.3 on the Apple iPhone. If you have an iPod Touch 4th Gen, the FaceTime icon ha ha has like a weird retro style. I don't know if I like it, honestly. It looks reminiscent to the Mac one. So here, here, here's my Mac. Let's see. Let's so put up the FaceTime icon. It's over here. There we go. It looks like that, pretty much. Only with a weird, like, chrome finish matte. Chrome finish, weird. It's very weird. You can Google it, and you will probably find it. But besides that, on the iPod Touch, there's not not much of a change. My friend was kind of disappointed after he noticed he lost his jailbreak once I installed 4.3 on him. 
But besides that, yeah, there's not much of a change. So I'm gonna also update you guys on the free UDID registration. So you know, all you have been sending me PMs with your UDIDs just to tell you I will not be accepting any form of registrations until iOS 4.3 beta 2 is released. And I will not be doing any kind of res reservations for the next UDID because honestly, I, it will be on a first come, first, first serve basis once beta 2 is released, right? So I'll, I'll, I'll inform you once beta 2 is released and tell you when I'll be accepting you, you, new UDID registrations, okay? So yeah, that's that. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching the video. Comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, yeah, like, send friend request, game sensor friend request, just go back to where I opened it up, and yeah, thanks for watching, goodbye.